Would you like to know what a short sale is in real estate? Well, let's break it down right now. I'm Mike Gallagher. I'm a realtor right here in Northern Utah. If you want to learn everything about living in Utah and also real estate topics, start by hitting the subscribe button down below. Let's become a friend. Also, if you hit the bell notification, you'll be notified every time I release a new video, and that's every week. And I absolutely love all the phone calls and emails from all over the world. So if you're even considering buying or selling a home in Utah, call me, text me, send me an email, or even send a drone. Today's video, we're going to talk about what is a short sale. For example, let's say you need to unload your property, maybe in the current condition, it is for less than what is owed on the mortgage. So you put it on the market and you take an offer that is lower than what you owe. You would then go back to the lender and you would be shorting the difference between your offer and what you owe the bank. If the bank accepts the offer, this would be known as a short sale. So once you get that offer on your home, it's now time to submit some paperwork to your lender. Well, one of the key documents that will be submitted to your lender will be a hardship letter, basically a letter stating why you cannot make the mortgage payments. It could be for a variety of reasons. A lot of them that I do see is maybe like medical payments. So all this would be listed in this letter and we would submit that to the lender for approval of your short sale. This leads to the question, do you do a foreclosure or a short sale? So a foreclosure is typically when people have not made their payments on their home and the bank takes possession of the home. In an instance like this, the bank would then sell the home in a foreclosure sale and there would be a difference from that sale price and what your mortgage amount is. Now, in some states, the difference, the amount, can be a judgment against you that you may have to pay later down the road. So a foreclosure typically will be a negative report on your credit. And it might take you a few years before you could get into another home loan with a foreclosure on your record. Let's shift gears a little bit and talk about if you wanted to purchase a short sale, be a buyer of a short sale. Well, one of the drawbacks will be is the long wait period. A typical closing can happen in about 30 to 40 days. With a short sale, this could be 30, 40, three months, four months, six months. I've even seen them nine months before a decision is made on a short sale. So if this is a home like a primary home and you have a certain timeline that you need to move into your home, it may not be one of the best options for you. But if it's like an investment home and you do have the time to wait, it'd be a great idea to pick up a short sale. So the bottom line is, if the short sale is done right, the buyers, sellers, and the lender can all walk away with a happy deal. So in conclusion, this is a short, brief description of the short sale process. Stay tuned for some other videos I'm going to have coming up on short sales. I seem to be getting a lot of phone calls lately about the whole short sale process. So I will have more videos coming up for you right down the road.